My name is Dr. K. Scott Malone. I'm one of the partners in Middle Georgia Orthopedics. I am a non-operative orthopedic specialist with sports medicine fellowship trained. Well, we have multiple locations. The main office is here in Warner Robins. We also have satellite office in Perry, Georgia. What we describe as a full-scale, one-stop shop for orthopedic care. We've been on the cutting edge with outpatient spine and outpatient joint surgery. We've been doing those for years. We have uh, our own integrated physical therapy, occupational therapy, imaging center with MRI, CT scan. We have massage therapy and durable medical equipment. We will exhaust non-surgical options. When they don't get better, we go to the surgical side. And then most of the time the patient comes back and I'll monitor the back end. But the goal is to follow you through the whole continuum of care. Listen to your patient. Treat the patient. Don't treat imaging. Don't treat a study. I think it's important that you listen to them. Try to understand where they're coming from. Jeff wasn't here very long. Within the first six months, I think she was diagnosed. It was very tough because, you know, as a partner, it's a business marriage. Now, Jeff and I became really close. It was tough watching him go through it. I remember Jeff telling me she passed, and I remember, I believe it was in the morning. You can't help but think about it when you have kids. We had kids around the same age. And, you know, you think, well, what would I do if I was in that situation? And once again, I think the answer to that is nothing you can do but depend on your faith. You know, nobody knows when your time's gonna be called. If you're a person of faith, you have to trust and believe that she went to the right place. What we're focusing on is finding something that will help these children go through the process of treating the hepatoblastoma, but not have such long-lasting effects. So what we've tried to work with on Dr. Vesta David on is finding a procedure that can be done laparoscopically with the children. And we helped him discover and we funded a camera that he uses in his surgical procedures now so the children don't have the long drawn out recovery that would have with a more invasive surgery. Each year we've seen what Macy's Foundation has done. And then when you bring in the experts and they speak, it's amazing and phenomenal. What I didn't realize, the lack of research and lack of resources in that particular area. We will always be a corporate sponsor because we never have a problem with having enough volunteers in the practice to help out. We'll come to the events, but you have multiple staff, golf outings. It's become a community-wide event and people come out to support it and support the family and really support the practice through it. That makes you realize how important it is. It makes us feel good as a sponsor.